let's look at the problem statement so in terms of the problem statement i have the terraform code for creating the storage account for example so let me copy the terraform storage account code from the website so i'll copy the code and i have already created one terraform file separate file for a storage account so which i'm calling it storage account i'll just call it instead of local i'll just call the terraform storage account i'm going to paste in the code as is so this is my terraform infrastructure as a code and here in this case it's going to create it is supposed to create a storage account for me before i run the apply or plan command let me do some changes so that it provisions the infrastructure for me without having any errors I don't need the infrastructure network configuration for now. So this is more simply now if I run the Terraform plan command, hopefully it should be able to create an infrastructure for me. As you can see, the infrastructure is ready to show me okay if i run the apply command now then it is going to create a, a storage account with these details this is the storage kind and replication type standard lrs and all those things right which is good now the problem comes here is when you have fixed set of properties which is defined in your infrastructure's code and some of the properties which are not defined in your infrastructure's code so let's say for example project i have a project which requires to create a storage account i can use this particular code to create a storage account and let's say if the storage account is expected to create which is of type standard or LRS then well and good I should be able to create it without having any problem now what if I require to create a storage account with some different account here instead of standard what if I want to create the storage account with premium tier so you might say okay you can pass on the story account account tier as a variable so for example I can say where account here like this and here I can pass on the values so let's say if I go to the property section here and then if I go to a story account And then if I define the properties called let's say this here which is of standard for example so I should be able to create this storage account like this now when i run the plan command it is working as expected and you can see the access here it has got hot by default because i'm not passing it and if i see this storage kind which is also not passed so it is using v2 and account here is also it is using premium in this case whereas the default value is standard but but as i'm passing on the default value for account here which is premium so it is overwriting 
the merge function is basically overriding this map values and it's overriding with the whatever values it has been provided which is in this case premium right you can see that just for the demonstration we'll call the and instead of you can see lrs because lrs i'm passing it here and that value is not defined but for example if i just want to use store account v2 instead of store account v2 let's say if i use the access tier which is defined as x x account kind right account yeah account kind which is defined as the default value as a store account v2 right so i can define store account kind here in the variable if i am going to define it here in the variable which is like this so now if i'm going to run the terraform plan command it will take a precedence and instead of storage account v2 it should say account kind as in plus storage so let me see that as you can see the account kind is now updated with the variable which i am passing on you have full freedom on your infrastructure as a code wherein you are using your own code or defining the values so now you're giving freedom to the calling code to pass on any number of parameters and then whatever parameters it is defined it is going to use those so if the parameter is not going to be passed on then what you can do is you can use the default value which has been passed on yeah so similar similar to that you can provide any any sort of you know values to to your uh, dynamic properties you can use in your resource creation and here you can see that i am using each and every properties as in locale but i am not asking user to pass on those properties specifically for example even though if user is not going to pass on any use values for let's say for this i am okay totally okay with that because i don't care if 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 one particular client is not going to pass on this values because my code still works because it takes default values in this case so this is a biggest feature i like if you want to write your infrastructure as a code which gives you a next level of you know dynamic code which takes input from the user and then it provisions the infrastructure for many many clients or projects or applications basically i hope this was useful and you understand the concept and you it would be helpful for you to use it in a project thanks for watching it if you like it please give it a thumbs up